ี้ยังเนี่ยOkay, this is the exhaust port. You got the, you got the crankshaft, the flywheel, and the valve mechanism. Now, if you want to see the valve mechanism, I'm going to rotate the unit right now. And just kind of get a look at the valve mechanism. The valve mechanism operates on an eccentric on the side of the uh, crankshaft there. The eccentric was a little bit difficult to make. And then you can see here we got a header plate that's acting as a valve guide. Now the valve guide is actually slotted ever so slightly because of the slight articulation up and down in that control rod that goes to the valve. The valve is just a regular old Amflow uh, air blower because the valve body isn't made yet. The uh, poppet valve setup was just simply wasn't going to work. So we needed the simple on -y off -y. But the previous videos showed the engine articulating, not revolving. See, the engine in this case is actually revolving, okay? And I, if I had to make a guess, I'd say it's doing probably about 200 RPM. We're going to turn the power up one more time. Just a little bit. That's about 40 PSI. And you can see the valve mechanism operating. If you look real careful, like, let me move the vice again. You see it right down there? That's the valve mechanism. Opening and closing. Okay. But it's operating autonomously now, thank God. Okay, via the eccentric actuating the valve. The valve timing is very difficult to find on this little engine. It doesn't want to stay running on its own because the little flywheel doesn't really weigh enough to keep inertia in between the power pulses. But the way it's set up, it's doing one pulse per revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back down, which basically turns it into a two-cycle engine. That's pretty much what it is. Because, as you can see, the exhaust is porting out the side right here, like a two-cycle would. So, the way the cycle works is uh, air comes in. This eccentric is in the uppermost position. It allows air to pass through the valve. It pulses through the tube into uh, the intake chamber. It's really not a combustion chamber because it's not internal combustion. That air forces the piston down, but then by then, the eccentric is revolved all the way to the bottom dead center, so it shuts the valve off. Well, at the same time, the piston under pressure moves down, and then the air is kicked up the exhaust port, and the inertia of the flywheel takes it back up to repeat another cycle. And that's opening the valve, and there we go again. But it's pulsing once per revolution. That's how you get the power on the, on the uh, flywheel here. You see, the engine doesn't make very much power at low RPM. The slightest touch of my finger will just really slow it down. Okay, but if you give it some gas, or air pressure as the case may be, it's a little bit more difficult to pull it down. So there's the power band. Well, anyway, it's evolved. 